Yeah, I will bat for pretty much all the time. Uh, that's a, that's the role we've given him in the team. Um, the only time I probably see him going in is if we are like 150 or 100 for one after 14 or something like that. Um, but anything probably in the th first 13 or 14 overs, uh, the batting lineup will pretty much stay the same. No, I think we were pretty poor today in the in the, in the bowling department. Uh, that's one thing um, we've done really well over the last period of time is the fact that we've been very smart in our bowling. Um, and I thought tonight, uh, by the last four overs, when we br br brought it back really nicely, and when you saw the bowlers had some really clear plans and bowled towards their plans, um, I thought we were, like I said, pretty average. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I think there were two free hits. One went for six, um, a couple of wides, a couple of no balls. I think the game swing was probably about like, I think it was 19 runs. Um, and that's way too much uh, in a game like this. If you're going to play against quality opposition, uh, to, to start minus 20 is, is too much runs. Yes, yes, very, very much so. I think the standards we've, or the bar that we've set ourselves is, is really high. We're not, uh, you know, performances like that isn't even close to good enough for us anymore. We've, we've, we've really set some high standards and we know what our bowlers can do. Um, I, I thought, I didn't think, I didn't think they would bowl badly. I just thought the plans, like I said, there was the, the, the games that we've bowled really well. Uh, we've had really clear plans. And in the batting department, you know, once again, great start from Ash and Quinny. It's really positive to see how, how good they are, are playing as a combination. Uh, and then nice to see the other guys also get a chance, JP and Dave towards the end, batting really well. Um, we've, I think our batting was, we, we planned the chase really well. We batted fantastically. I just think 15 runs was, was too many on that pitch. No, not to be honest with you, no. Um, I think they are a dangerous team. Uh, and that's probably, you know, what they should have done a, a little bit earlier in the series, even in, in Dubai. They're, they're, they're a dangerous batting attack. Um, and we've expected that from them the whole series in Dubai. So it's probably the first time where we see what they are capable of. Um, you know, they're a quality team. And that's why they were, I think, the number two in, in the world before before the series started in Dubai. Uh, so that's what's expected of them. Yes, definitely. I think, you know, probably a lot of teams would have been happy with just picking the same team, firstly, uh, tonight. You know, Imran has been... Brilliant, uh, and he's been a thorn in their side. They, uh, they struggled to play him really well. Um, so for us to leave him out, um, it's not that uh, you know we're just resting. It's just a case of having a look at you know Pangi. Um, he's also important for us. You know, any backup player in a squad of 15 is really important when you go to a World Cup. Uh, I think it's it's quite unfair if, if someone gets injured and a guy gets thrown into the mix and he hasn't played any games in the, in the last year or so. Uh, so to ch we made three changes today, um, also David Visa coming in, just trying to um, give the guys some international exposure uh, for, because everything for me is about that World Cup, which we, we're gearing towards that um, and still very happy where we are um, in, in terms of the last, I think the last nine or, nine or ten games we've won eight, so that's a fantastic effort, uh, we've done really well, so still very happy. In 2020s? Yeah. No, that's the, pretty much what you see now is... Uh, it will, I think, will be the combinations going to the World Cup. Uh, it's pretty settled. Uh, you know, our backup batsman is, is at the moment is Henry Davids. Um, he's done really well up at the top of the order there. Uh, obviously, had a really good Champions League. Uh, but Quinny, Quinny and Ash uh, is gelling really nicely together. Like I said in the previous press, um, Quinny is very aggressive, and Ash just plays the calm role and, and tries to bat through the innings. So. I think our top six is, 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 is settled and stable and probably it will stay the same. Uh, we've got a real good balance in that top six. Uh, so certainly for the next, you know, for, until the World Cup, I don't see that happening. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's sport in general for you, but you can just see Quinny, uh, the last while, is just really confident and he's, he's just expressing himself now. I think uh, when you're young like that and you've got the talent which he's had, he's always had that talent and everyone knew that, but now he's just going and he's just playing like he, he knows best. Uh, and he's a really dangerous batter. It's really good for us when he's playing that, like that because it means it's that we, we get the best out of him. So we also encourage that to play with his flair. Uh, he's got a lot of talent, so we just want to get as, as much out of it as possible. Yeah, like I said, they are. I, I've expected this this from them even in, in Dubai, but uh, they've done really well. Yeah, uh, I've actually been surprised of how of well they've done with the bat. Um, you know, considering conditions, 
obviously we're a little, we're a little bit more used to the bouncing decks uh, and I thought they played it really well. Uh, the batting today was superb. Uh, but for me, I, I'd rather look at what, we, what we're doing right than what we're doing wrong. And there was, there was too many things tonight that we didn't do right. Um, and then you, you don't deserve to win a game like that.